Hello, dear students. I am Dr. Mazhar Ali, and I welcome you to course Introduction to Artificial Intelligence. In today's lecture, I am going to discuss informed search algorithms with you. Before this lecture, um, I discussed uh, uninformed search algorithms with you. Means the previous lecture was on the uninformed uh, search algorithms. Search algorithms, uh, search al uh, algorithms form the core of such artificial intelligence programs. And while we may be inclined to think that this has limited applicability only in areas of gaming and puzzle solving, such algorithms are in fact used in many more artificial intelligence areas like uh, uh, root and cost optimization, action planning, knowledge mining, robotics, autonomous driving, computational biology, uh, software and hardware verification, theorem proving, uh, and etc. So in a way, many of the artificial intelligence problems can be modeled as a search problem where the task is to reach the goal from the initial state via state transformation rules. So the search space is defined as a graph or a tree. And the aim is to uh, reach the goal from the initial state via the shortest path in terms of cost, length, a combination of both, etc. So far, uh, uh, we have talked about the uninformed search algorithms in the previous lecture, uh, which looked uh, through search space for all possible solutions to the problem without having any additional knowledge about search space. But the informed search algorithm contains an array of knowledge such as how far we are from the goal. Goal means the target and the path cost, how to reach the goal node and etc. So this knowledge helps agents or robots to explore less to the search space and find more efficiently the goal node. The informed search algorithm is a more useful for a large search space. The informed search algorithm uses the idea of heuristic so it is also called the heuristic search. So the heuristic is a function uh, that is used in the informed search and uh, it finds the most promising path. It uh, uh, takes the current state of the agent as its uh, input and um, produces the estimation of how close the agent is from the goal. The heuristic method, however, um, might not always give the best solution, but it is a guaranteed to find a good solution in a uh, reasonable time. The heuristic function estimates how close the state um, uh, is to the goal, means how much we are, uh, uh, the current state is uh, nearest to the target or the goal. So it is uh, represented by heuristic of node, means uh, what is the heuristic or the path cost uh, between the goal and the current state. And it calculates the cost of an optimal path between the pair of states. Therefore, the value of the heuristic function is always positive. So the, the greedy based first search is a, a type of the form of the based first search. Um, if we consider searching as a form of a traversal in a graph, an uninformed search algorithm would blindly traverse to the next node in given manner without considering the cost associated with the, that step because uninformed search uh, does not know the path to reach the target or to reach the goal. However, in informed search, uh, like the based first search or the greedy based first search, on the other hand, would use an evolution function to decide which among the various available nodes is the most promising. Uh, or we may call it uh, which uh, means that which will be the best uh, uh, path to reach the target before traversing to uh, that node. So the best for search uses the concept of a priority queue and a heuristic search, uh, which are not used by the uninformed search strategies. So uh, to search the graph space, the best for search method uses two lists of uh, tracking the traversal an open list uh, which keeps track of uh, current immediate nodes uh, available for the traversal and a closed uh, list that keeps track of the nodes uh, which are already traversed. 
terrorist means uh, so you have to remember uh, both type of the list one is the open list uh, that uh, keep the track of the current nodes and uh, other one is uh, closed list that uh, keep the track the traversed uh, node so uh, greedy uh, based per search algorithm always selects uh, the path which appears based at that moment it is the combination of depth per search and bevets per search algorithms depth per search and bevets per search algorithms uh, both algorithms uh, 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 discussed in the previous lecture because these both algorithms are uh, the, the algorithms of the uninformed search strategy so uh, the based per search means the greedy based per search uses the heuristic function and uh, search strategy the based per search allows us to take the advantage of both algorithms both algorithms means the uh, which i discussed to you depth per search and the bevets per search Uh, with the help of the uh, based per search strategy at each step we can choose the most promising node uh, so in the greedy based per search algorithm we expand the node which is closest to the uh, goal node and the closest uh, cost is es estimated by the heuristic function so uh, we may say uh, this is the heuristic function means the heuristic of the node so the function of the node and the greedy based per search uh, is equal to heuristic of the node however in the a star search strategy the function of the node is equal to uh, g means the uh, g of the node means the path distance what is the path distance between the current node and the target node plus heuristic of the node heuristic node basically tells us Uh, about uh, means it estimate to the goal that how much cost um, will be between the current node and the goal node so it tell about the uh, estimation uh, of the node or the cost of the node to reach the goal however if n f of the n it is the combined of uh, heuristic that is the gn plus hn in the a star while uh, it is a uh, h of the n uh, means the heuristic of the node Uh, in the greedy based per search so based uh, based per search algorithm what happened in this uh, it create two empty list as i told you uh, open and closed list it is start from the initial node that is the first node or the uh, and that we may call it the n that's why uh, i mentioned here uh, n and uh, put it in the order Means in, in the open list. So if the open list is empty, then exist uh, exit the loop returning false because there is no node. So select the first or the top node and say n uh, in the open list and move it to the closed list. Uh, also capture the information of the uh, parent node. If n means the node is a goal node. Uh, then move the node to the go uh, closest uh, or the sorry closed uh, list and exit the loop returning because uh, we uh, reach the uh, target. So therefore, the solution can be found by backtracking the path. So if n or the node is not the goal node, the, so expand node n to generate the immediate next node linked to the uh, node n. and add all those to the open list so this is the algorithm of the greedy based per search and uh, record uh, the nodes in the open list in uh, ascending order according to an uh, evaluation function so this algorithm uh, traverses uh, the short shortest path uh, first in the queue the time complexity of the algorithm um, is a uh, uh, object of the uh, node into uh, logarithm there are two variants of the based per search uh, these are the greedy based per search and the a star based search the greedy based per search algorithm selects the path which appears to be the best 
so it can be known as the combination of depth per search and weight per search as i told you already so greedy uh, bfs mean the best per search makes use of heuristic function and search and allows us to take advantage of both algorithm so there are uh, various ways to identify the best node for traversal and uh, accordingly uh, there are various flavors of bfs algorithm with the different heuristic evaluation functions so let's say we want to drive from city a to city e uh, in the shortest possible road distance and uh, uh, means city a to uh, sorry city a we start here from city a to uh, we want to uh, travel to city g in the shortest uh, possible road distance and we want to do it in the fastest way uh, by exploring the least number of cities in the way that is the least number of steps means if um, you have to traverse from city a to city j g and there may be different cities between uh, these two cities so and different ways as well now definitely anyone uh, will find out the shortest path to reach the uh, target city so th this distance is in means uh, 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 for example uh, whenever we arrive at an intermediate city we get to know the distance from uh, that city to uh, uh, our goal city that is the g so this distance is an approximation of how close we are to the goal from a given node and is denoted by the heuristic function so this heuristic value is mentioned within each node however uh, note that this is not always equal to the actual uh, road distance as the road may have many curves uh, while moving up a hill and more because when we start from the uh, first city we don't know what is uh, between uh, uh, the g means what is on the road there may be hill there may be curve there may be even any barrier by which we may change the road so we will definitely count the distance and we will look at the barriers and hills to count the cost of path to reach the target goal so this heuristic value is mentioned within each node if you look all heuristic values are mentioned with the each value here in the uh, graph so when we travel from one node to uh, other we get to know the actual road distance between the current city and the immediate next city on the way and um, is mentioned over the path in the given figure uh, like if you here look here uh, we are at the starting city and we have to go to the g city so we will definitely find the best path if we go to the a there is a 12 means for example this is a 12 km and here if we come here then the b there is a 4 km so definitely uh, sensibly even we will uh, select this path because this is a far or away from the um, initial node so we will uh, select the shortest path so we uh, come here from a to b and now we are b and here again there are two paths one is a go here and uh, second is a here so if we come here this is the end no node and there is no other path again we will go back so definitely we if we know that there there is only end net we will find the other node uh, that is the f as well so at any point the decision on which city to go to the next is governed by our uh, evaluation function the city which gives the least value for this evaluation function uh, will be explored first so definitely uh, we will not go to the end city because we know uh, there's no another way from the e and we will go here at the f and if um, we know this is the way of the g uh, it's a two kilo, the weight of g is a two so we will come here to the g we will not go to the i that is also the end node and we will come here to the g and no g is our goal city therefore 
and we will stop traversing because we achieved the goal so uh, if we look here uh, the our path is a is to b and b to a and a to g means there are two cities uh, one is a b second is a a between a and g city and it's the very shortest path but look if we go first at a we will go away 12 um, kilometer from the initial point and we will not find another way to reach the goal again we will go back and we will come to the b and here if we are not um, uh, get the decision by evolution by the our heuristic then we will go to the e that will be again a big loss to us uh, because it's also end goal and this city e is not connected to our goal city therefore again we will go back <clears throat> so and then we will come here if and again here we if we will not evaluate the uh, city path i mean we will not use the heuristic we will go to the i and that is also a end node and again we will go back to come here so that will be the blind uh, search since we know the path however we know even the about these path as well uh, using the heuristic function so therefore we have just uh, selected the path that we have to go to the b and from b to the a and a to the g because means we have crossed the two cities to reach our target city that is the g so the worst case time complexity of greedy based search is the object of the uh, that what is the uh, object of so advantages um, uh, of the uh, greedy based search uh, the best for search can switch between bfs and dfs by gaining the uh, advantage of both uh, the algorithm is both algorithm so this algorithm is the more efficient than the and <clears throat> bread first search and uh, deep uh, first search means that it is a best algorithm uh, than the uninformed algorithm however there are some disadvantage here it can behave as a, an unguided depth first search in the worst case scenario so it can get stuck in a loop as a uh, depth first search the algorithm is a not optimal at all it, it is not the optimal because um, uh, the path distance estimation of the goal heuristic we don't know that is, therefore it's not optimal and we don't know the proper weight of the path however it is a very good algorithm to find out the shortest path to reach the goal so this is just the a tree uh, in which different cities are shown to you so again if you look here here if you start at the a so you have open two path one is a a second is a b and when if if we uh, run through the algorithm which i discussed you in previous slides so a says the open the two uh, this one is a a and the second is a b and definitely when these both are open then a is a closed so again um, a, that is the initialization and iteration means open a and closed a and b if you are going here then you will open this and close these both uh, and if you open the e f and um, uh, a then close a and b so these are the iterations and in the iteration third open i g e a and close a b f and open i e a closed a b f g therefore hence the path is a a b f these are the closed path uh, which are the shortest path intelligence is the strength of human species uh, means the intelligence is the strength of human species uh, we have used uh, it to improve our lives uh, then uh, we created the concept of artificial intelligence to amplify human intelligence and to develop and flourish civilization like never uh, before so ai helps us solve problems of various complexities computational problems like path search problem can be solved using ai so search problems uh, where you need to find 
a path from one point to another, say point A to point B, sometimes you need to solve it by mapping those problems to graphs. So where are uh, where all the possible um, outcomes are represented by nodes. So A star or A star uh, algorithm comes up as the an answer to uh, these problems. So A star search is the most commonly known from uh, it is the known form of a based per search. It uses the heuristic function and cost to reach the node in uh, node n from uh, the star stage. So A star search algorithm finds the shortest path through the uh, search space using the heuristic function. This search algorithm expands uh, fewer search trees and provides optimal result faster. In the asteric uh, search algorithm, we use search heuristic as well as the cost to reach the node. Hence, we, we can combine both cost and um, this sum is called the fitness number. So the A star algorithm is uses the cost to reach the node and uh, estimated, uh, estimated cost to goal, means GN plus HN is uh, equal to A star algorithm, uh, search algorithm. Uh, if of the node that estimated, uh, it shows the estimated, uh, estimated cost of the cheapest solution, uh, while the G of node uh, shows the cost to reach node and uh, from start state and heuristic of the node cost shows the cost to reach from node N to goal node. So uh, algorithm of um, uh, a static, if you look here in the step one, place the starting node in the open list, then check if the open list uh, is empty or not. If the list is empty, then return failure and uh, stop. In a stop theory, uh, in a step three, select the node from the open list, uh, which has the smallest value of evaluation function, that is the G plus H. Uh, if node N is a goal node, then the return success and you stop otherwise. In the step four, expand node N, uh, N and generate all of its uh, successor and put N into the uh, closed uh, list for each successor n, check whether n is uh, already in the open or closed list. If not, then compute evaluation function for n and place into open list. And in step five, else if node n is already in open and closed, uh, then it should be at, uh, attached uh, to the big pointer which reflects the uh, lowest uh, g of n or value. And step six, return to step two. So let us try to understand basic AI concept and uh, comprehend how does the Easter uh, algorithm work. Imagine a huge uh, maze, one that is too big that um, it takes hours to reach the end point manually. Means look at uh, this um, huge uh, maze. This implies that uh, you would end up investig uh, investing a lot of time and effort to find the possible path in the maze. Now you want to make it less time consuming. To make it easier, we will consider uh, this maze is a search problem and will try to apply it to other possible mazes uh, we might encounter in the uh, due course, provided uh, they follow the same structure and rules. Is the first step to convert this maze into a search problem, we need to define these six things. A set of uh, prospective states we might be in, a beginning and uh, end state, a way to decide if uh, uh, we have reached the end point, uh, a set of actions in case of possible direction, means path changes, uh, a function that advises us about the result of an action, a set of costs in, uh, incurring in a different state path of the movement. So to solve the problem, we need to map the intersections to nodes denoted by the red dots, these, these red dots. 
and all the possible ways we can make movements towards the edges generated by the blue uh, lines. This is the blue lines. So A denotes, I mean, this A, A denotes the starting point and B uh, denotes the uh, end point. So we define the starting and end point, it notes A and B uh, respectively. So if we use an uninformed search algorithm, it would be like finding a path that is blind. While an informed algorithm for a search problem uh, would take the path that brings you closer to your destination. So unlike uh, other algorithm, A star decides to take up a step only if it is a uh, convincingly uh, sensible and uh, reasonable as per its uh, function. So, which means it never consider any non-optimal step because a step is the optimal search strategy. Therefore, it would not um, consider any non-optimal step uh, during the searching. So, this is why a star is a popular choice for uh, artificial intelligence systems that replicate the uh, real world like video games and machine learning. In this section, um, I mean, in this slide, we are, uh, I'm going to find out how a star algorithm can be used to find the uh, most cost effective path in a graph. So these are the graphs. The number written on edges, these are the edges, edges means the line which connects two nodes or uh, more, even more than two nodes. <clears throat> the, therefore, the number written on edges uh, represent the distance between the nodes, uh, while the number written on nodes represent the heuristic values. Uh, so these numbers are written on the edges, which show the distance between A and B. However, this is the heuristic value, means if you start from A, the heuristic value may be six, since the real distance is a two kilometer, but there may be any barrier or uh, that may uh, extend the time uh, or the distance as well. So uh, let us find the most effective path to reach from start um, state A to final state G using a historic algorithm. I mean, this is the goal state and this is the initial state. And this is the A city and this is the G city. If you want to traverse from A to G, which path will be the suitable to reach the G? Uh, let us start with the node A. Since, uh, as I told you, it is the starting node. Therefore, the value of uh, G of A uh, for A is a zero because it is a starting point. And uh, from the graph, we get the heuristic value of A is uh, 11. Therefore, uh, G of a, X plus H of X means X is a basically node. You may call it the G of uh, N and H of N. H of N is a rustic. So G of uh, N plus H of uh, N uh, are equal to, is equal to F of uh, N. So for example, this is a zero. This is a zero. So 0 plus 11, because the heuristic of this function of uh, node is 11. So 0 plus 11, 11 is equal to 11. Thus for A, uh, we can write A is equal to 11. So now from A, we can go to the point B <coughs> or point even E. Means now we have to decide either we have to go to the B, node B or city B or to city E. So we uh, compute a function of node for each of them. <clears throat> if we are going to A to B, so the distance between A to B is a two, and the heuristic of B is a six. So two plus six is equal uh, to eight. Means if we are going to A to B, uh, the cost may be eight. And if we are going to A to E, the distance is a three, and the heuristic is a seven. So three plus seven is equal to uh, na, na, uh, three uh, ten. So the A to E uh, distance cost will be ten. 
So since the cost per A to B is a less, if you look here, it is a eight, it is a less. So we me uh, we uh, move to move forward with this path and compute the A function uh, function of node B for the children nodes of B. So it's a less. So now A uh, we moved from A to B, and now we are at B. Since there's a no path between C and G. So the heuristic cost is a set infinity, uh, infinity or um, uh, or a very high value. For example, a to b to c two plus one plus ninety nine is a one zero two, and um, a to b to g two plus nine plus uh, zero is equal to eleven. Here, the path a to b to g has the least cost, but it is is still more than the cost of a to e thus we explore this path further because if we go here the path will be more and if we go from here the path will be no doubt least but we will find from e as well because the heuristic of d is a very less so here the path a to b as i told you uh, to g has the least cost uh, however It is still more than the cost of A to E. If you come here, the, I think the cost will be uh, less. So because uh, A to E to D will be equal to three uh, uh, plus six, three plus six plus one. So it would be. Uh, Ten. It would be, I think, ten, three, six, and one. It would be ten, and uh, a to b to g two and nine eleven. So this path is the shortest path to reach the g. So comparing the cost of a to e to d with all the paths, we go so far, and uh, as this cost is the least of all, uh, we we. we Uh, move forward with this path and compute the function of x for the children of d. So a to e to d to g means a to e three and e to d six and d to g uh, is a one. So distance is a three six one means three plus six plus one three plus six nine plus one ten. And if we come here from a to b to g. The path distance is a two, and two plus nine is eleven. So definitely, the path from A to E to D to G is the shortest path. So we will opt uh, this path. So A star is the optimal path, and um, that is a uh, that choose the shortest path to reach the goal. So the asterisk uh, search algorithm is optimal if it uh, follows uh, uh, below two conditions. Means uh, heuristic of uh, node is admissible. That is uh, never uh, overestimates the uh, true cost, and the heuristic node uh, is uh, consistent for every node n. And the successor n uh, with the step cost c of heuristic of n uh, less than equal to heuristic of n plus c. So admissible uh, means the first condition required for optimality is that heuristic of n uh, should be an admissible heuristic for a star tree uh, search. An admissible heuristic is a optimistic, and con consistency. Uh, In the second required condition is the consistency for only a static graph uh, search. So, if the heuristic function is admissible, uh, then a static uh, tree search will always find the least cost cost path. Therefore, the time uh, complexity of a static search algorithm depends on the heuristic function, and the number of nodes expanded is uh, exponential to the depth. Uh, Of a solution D. Uh, 
so thank you very much um, uh, for watching uh, this lecture uh, i suggest you to try changing the graph and see how the algorithm performs on them leave your comments below uh, for any doubt means uh, you should try uh, the graph for in this you change this graph change the uh, cities and then traverse and uh, by using grid based search uh, algorithm and uh, then uh, find, uh, write the path <coughs> and also use um, the a star algorithm and uh, change this graph and get the result and what what will be the optimal uh, choose the that path uh, uh, subscribe this channel and uh, press the bell icon to get the notifications of new lectures uh, this course uh, is still continue uh, next lecture will be uh, hopefully on the knowledge base so we will meet in uh, meet in uh, next lecture uh, till take care of you